It is Skelly Shades here with a new episode for you guys today, and uh, we're going to be doing a Shades Craft Let's Play. It is Monday, and I um, hope you guys had a good Easter break, or holiday break, I should say. And today we are going to be working on this project right here, guys. I have been working on this. We are in the Shades Craft Workshop world. I have been working on this for you guys, and I'm thinking that it's turning out pretty good. I'm excited to get into the Let's Play of it. It's probably going to take the next few episodes, but I want to talk to you guys today about what YouTube means to me. Hold on, let me adjust my mic. So, there we go. So, yeah guys, I want to talk to you guys about what YouTube means to me and why kind of I do it and everything like that so let's do get started I'm gonna cut really quick for you guys let's take one more good look at this build and um, actually let's get some dimensions as well so one two three five six seven eight nine ten we'll say and then this is one two three four five six Alright, so, <laughs> I think I'm actually going to need some materials, guys, so I'm going to cut really quick, go get some materials for this, and then I will be, definitely be right back. So, stay tuned, guys, I'm I back, right back, and um, we are going to start our project and start talking about what YouTube means to me. So... I started watching YouTube uh, a long time ago, and uh, I started watching a guy named by the name of Paul Soares Jr. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of him, but he is one of the greatest survival, um, you know, YouTubers out there, and he really did inspire me to get Minecraft, and I started playing it. And uh, I said one day, you know, I promised myself that I would be a YouTuber. And so I started playing Minecraft a lot more and getting a lot more experience. And that sort of thing. And so I wanted to start a YouTube channel. I started building creatively and really thriving and liking it. And uh, what tools did I need? We're going to sleep really quick first. Um, so yeah, I, I started to build creatively. And uh, eventually I just started doing really well and started building for other people on Xbox because that's where I first got Minecraft. And people came up, kept coming up to me and asking me, whoa, like you have really cool builds. And, uh, so I want you to build me something. So, basically, the way I took that was, whoa, you're really cool. Uh, I want you to show me how to build like that. And I basically started, do, like, thinking about doing a YouTube channel. And, um, so that was that. And I started doing YouTube and... Um, kind of expanding my, you know, channel and everything, and I started doing channel art and getting real involved, and, uh, I started really making some good videos, and I think that you guys have seen my videos, a lot of you guys have commented that you like them, so two, three, four, five. Hold on, guys, a second. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Alright, so what we're going to do here is go back down. 
I should probably go get a shovel. Um, but anyway, I started doing YouTube, and you guys really like my videos, and, um, but basically what I'm getting at is I really do like doing YouTube for the wow factor. I'm not necessarily a very good at survival. I'm more of a creative builder, and I basically, the concept of my channel is pretty much to showcase what I can do and kind of use it as a portfolio in a way to get my work out there and get what I'm doing, you know, published. And so basically, if I, could, if I go apply for a build team, they can see my work and watch my videos and not have to ask me to build them something. Um, what else do I need? I need a shovel. Okay. Um, yeah, guys, in a little bit, we're actually going to recap the last episode, too. I want to show you guys some things. But anyway, so, basically, you guys are why I do it. And you guys are the reason that I try to succeed and try and put out content because it's uh let's see hold on sorry guys uh two three four five six and then we need one more seven all right um so you guys are basically why i started doing it a lot of my xbox friends came up started coming up to me and telling me whoa you're really good i really like what you build but you should start a youtube channel and um two three four five six seven all right so ouch that kind of took and so through the i guess it's been i don't know a little less than a year maybe six or seven months since I started this, my channel has really grown, and I never thought I would get 65 subscribers or so. I don't know exactly how many I have right now, but I never thought that I would get that many subscribers. And you guys really do mean a lot to me. It's something that I take, I guess, for granted a little bit. And because I have some friends that ask me, come up and ask me, well, whoa, how did you get that many subscribers? And I think you guys really do appreciate my work, and I, I'm glad to see that. Crap, we need some sand. And honestly, guys, another big reason why I do YouTube is to inspire all of you to try and build like I can. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but... I definitely see, I'm not average, I like to kind of explore and create new things and hopefully that's what you guys do as well and I encourage you guys if you don't already to do that. It just makes this game more fun and if one little kid comes up to me or one, you know, I don't, I don't really honestly no offense, I don't really care who it is, but if one person comes up to me and says, whoa, like, I really like your builds, and I really, you know, they're really cool, C could you teach me, or, you know, that's, that's a success in my eyes, I, I want that to kind of continue, and I've already had a number of you guys come up to me, actually, so, it's a good thing, I, I take pride in that, and, Hopefully you guys are seeing me grow as a YouTuber as well um, with my videos because that's what I aim to do as well. This is a learning experience for me. And uh, so I guess I would ask you guys what you want to see on my channel just to have a, maybe a little bit of a conversation to, so that you guys have something to comment about on my vids. Um, what do you want to see out of this build in particular, or it can be about anything, Dracor, 
Um, I know last episode of this I showed kind of showcased what I want to do for Dracor as well as you know kind of being able to grow this build as well so I want you guys to comment seriously comment on what you guys think I could do better or um, I've, I'm kind of taking a step in the right direction I believe for myself um, to talk about something and kind of keep what I talk about uh, relevant and give you guys something to listen to as as long as I build and uh, so that keeps me going a little bit uh, let's see let's do this and wonder if we have any more coal let's put this in here um, yeah guys so and I guess another thing I want to know is how many of you guys have YouTube channels that you take pride in or not take pride in that's a bad I shouldn't have said that but how many of you guys have YouTube channels that you work hard at and uh, hopefully if there's anything I can do the reason I ask is because I I want to help you guys out too. I don't. This isn't just about being selfish to me. If there's, you know, some of you guys are watching and you're like, well, oh, well, he has this many subscribers. I wish that I had that many. I want to share my subscribers with you, and I want to kind of give you guys something a little more, something to hold on to, because that's basically what my subscribers are is something to hold close to my heart and hold you know think about in my head well okay I'm not recording today you know what is something that or what are my subscribers thinking oh he's didn't put out a video today because he just doesn't care or he's doing other things that's not the case guys I took a month off for you guys so that I could kind of come up with um, more content for you guys and give my channel a chance to grow and think of things like trying to keep a relevant topic the whole video and not just having update videos and talking about what I want to do for the, with the channel because that honestly even for me that gets boring and um, so yeah that's something that I I'm going to try and keep in mind as well as for you guys. So, let's see. Crap. I need to go back down here once. So, I'm going to start adding the cross beams like you guys saw. So, two, four, six. Crap. Um, wait. One, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So let's do right here. One, two, and then we'll come over here and do one, two as well. One, two. And then I have to think for a minute here. Um, what was it that I I can't think of what I had here. So hold on, guys. I'm gonna cut the video really quick. Go look at it and get some more measurements kind of write things down and I will be right back to finish out the episode so stay tuned the second guys. time and uh, so we're gonna continue talking I'm just here kind of scoping out what I want to do and uh, want to get some more done here real quick and then we'll end the episode we'll talk about what I want to do in the future like we did talk about last episode just want to remind you and update a few things um, 
so yeah guys let's get back to it first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the schedule uh, that I kind of proposed last time and I'm kind of excited for that in a way because of the fact that I've never really had a schedule or put out a schedule um, and it's my responsibility as a YouTuber this is part of all part of what YouTube means to me but um, as a YouTuber I am responsible for putting out good quality content and that it's my job and so I want to pay that forward to you guys and make sure that I do everything in my power to get it out on time but what a schedule will also do for me is kind of prepare give me time to prepare I should say and collect materials and so say if I have an episode that is on Monday and I want to you know do it every Monday I have time to prepare I have that whole week ahead of me to prepare everything for that and I believe that's correct is it hold on let's go take a look ouch yes I believe that is correct yes it is okay so we're gonna add one last finishing touch here and then we're gonna go take a look inside quickly and actually there's a few thing we, things we need to clean up here and fix just so that we're on track for next episode which I don't know how I'm gonna do this either Maybe. So let's do this actually. Alright, move these guys quickly. Hop on over here to the other side and this is very dangerous. This is why I'm being kinda quiet, so I don't want to fall. But yeah, guys, um, I'm really exactly what I just didn't want to. I just said I didn't want to do. Wow. Um, anyway. So, yeah, guys, I'm excited for the schedule. Um, this official schedule is going to be... Uh, Mondays is going to be Shades Craft Let's Play. And Thursdays is going to be a Dracor episode or a Castle Let's Build. Um, which I haven't spoken much about yet, but more of that about that will be coming out in the future. Um, I have a huge castle planned for you guys, and I'm extremely, extremely, extremely excited to be able to do that. Um, it's going to be huge. I showed it off a little bit last episode. I showed you the gate, and just by looking at it, you guys can tell it's going to be like massive um, so I'm excited can we reach that now there was one other thing oh there's actually a few things that I wanted to fix I want to make these logs uh, t -t -t wait what I just saw it Hold on a second, guys. Okay, yeah, over here. Um, so what I'm doing, guys, basically, I just I don't want to continue the 
the silence. I want to talk to you guys about what I'm doing. Um, so basically what I'm doing is creating beams so that these beams can extend out for our um, the rest of our build here like this and there we go so yeah guys don't forget as we kind of close up the episode don't forget to leave a comment on what YouTube means to you and whether or not you have a channel that I could potentially support can't support all of you but I can support s at least some of you and I'm willing to do that and uh, yeah so make sure to comment on those things and be sure also to comment on things that you think I could do better at and I forgot one thing I am excited for this project as well, guys. I want to, like I said last episode, I want to create a barn type deal either as a basement or kind of, there's a good space over here somewhere that we can chop down the trees and I think it would be appropriate for a barn in case we do decide to make a freestanding barn and I'll fix that later so yeah guys um, basically want to show you what I showed you last episode just for you guys to remember um, this I want to either these are going to be interchangeable but one of these is going to go down to like a breeding area for animals and things like that so we can get XP I might also put like an enderman farm down there eventually um, I have no clue how to do that but uh, I'm willing to try for you guys and over here I want to put the mining the what do you want to call it the strip mines to give us another source of mining and collecting resources that way and oh in here I don't know if I said this last episode but in here I'm going to put an ender chest so that that is kind of guarded here and uh, as you guys can see this is my our beautiful storage room that I showed you guys last episode I kind of got carried away with it and just kind of went for it so do we have awesome we have glass all right guys um i think that's about it for right now and uh i'll just go out here to show you guys one last time what we're doing perfect the sun's setting and uh yeah, I'll fix that for next time. And then next time we're going to be working on the roof and extending those pillars that I just built. And filling this in with glass. And it's going to be really cool, guys. So, and hopefully we'll have a finished product next time. And, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to hit the subscribe button for me. Uh, if you're new to my channel and haven't already, uh, that would greatly appreciate. I would greatly appreciate it, and it would also help out my channel. And also make sure to hit the like button for everything we talked about today. And uh, you know, moving forward, the you know to make sure that you guys are liking my episodes and actually do like the content in them. Um, I'm going to try more to get out and stick to a topic and talk about meaningful things around involving YouTube and kind of what we have going here, this project and everything. So make sure to also hit the like button. Uh, once again, guys, thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoyed this episode and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.